Quarantine Science Lab. Today we are going to get magnesium carbonate. Carbonate and um from, from magnesium sulfate. Yeah. And sodium carbonate. And sodium carbonate. We're gonna measure any temperature change from the reaction in and a calorimeter. We, yeah. That's this thing, right? We created yeah. a calorimeter here, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> first, let's weigh out our um, reagents. So first, weigh out 5.7 grams of um, magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate is called Epsom salt. Okay. Yeah. It's a household product that most households have, many, maybe not most. We're going to measure it on this paper here. We're going to weigh it out and then we are going to... Um, now look, I want to show you something. This is where you need to pay attention. The scale says zero, right? If I put this piece of paper on there, now it says 1.087 grams. So you see that T button? Yeah. That stands for tear. So I want you to tear the scale and tell me what it says afterward. Zero. Really? You see that? No, not really. See the zero? Oh, yeah, zero point zero zero zero. What you just did was adjust the scale for to compensate for the weight of that paper. That's called tearing. Don't five point seven. seven grams of magnesium sulfate. Coming up. Ooh, we got a long way to go. Using the big one? Uh, I'm using uh, the biggest one at the table. <laughs> what are we at? Mm, I don't know. What does it say? I don't know. It's hard to re look at the 3.507. 4.3. Five point three, need a little bit more. Five point four, five point six. Oops, I went over. That's okay. No, there we go. Five point seven. I'm not talking about these buttons, but like Don't. if you press the weight thingy. Don't touch anything. It'll go up. So let's set this aside now. Let's set it right here. Do you want me to restart it? Not yet. Now, we need to measure out, hang on one sec, here's what we're going to do. Alright, tear the scale again. Great. Now, we need to measure out 5 grams of sodium carbonate. What does tearing the scale do? It adjusts. Yeah, adjust the scale thing. Right, there's 0 0.9 grams, 2.9 grams, 4.2 grams, 4 4.5, 4.7, 4.83, 4.92. 5.000, perfect. So take a look at that, Derek. Now you know what five grams of a typical powder looks like, okay? Mm -hmm. And why aren't we using ounces and um, pounds? We're using grams, what's the difference? Um, That's the metric system. Yeah, metric. Almost the entire world uses the metric system for weights and measures, except the United States and some other countries, one or two other countries. All right, now we have our our solids weighed out. Now let's get our liquids measured. What we want to do is put 50 milliliters of water. You want to spray in 50 milliliters here? Okay, can you tell me when to stop? See that line? Oh, okay, yeah. That's now, awesome. I'm going to teach you how to measure from the meniscus. I'll show you what a meniscus is. First, do a lot. Go ahead, stick it up straight. 
All right, slow down, slow down. Now, a bit more. A little bit more. Okay, stop. Now, I want to show you something. You notice how the water curves up at the edges of the cylinder? Yeah. And it's at a low point in the middle of the cylinder? Mm -hmm. Look here. You see that? Yeah. So we want that low point to, to read exactly 50, not at the edge, but in the middle of the cylinder. That's called the meniscus, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that 50? Yeah. Looks perfect, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's put that in this cup here, 50. Now please give me another 50. There you go. All right, you're getting close, so don't overrun it. Stop, stop, stop. Perfect. No, you need a few more drops to get it up to 50. Okay, I'll try to get drops. Okay, okay. Keep going. I want you to read it and tell me when you think it's good. I think it's good now. There. What? Get down at eye level, so the water is at eye level. Mm -hmm. Do you see that 50 line? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you need to bring it up a little bit, okay? It needs like three more. Okay, stop. Now check it again. Mm -hmm. Uh, still not. Okay. Don't, don't overrun because we don't have to. Okay, try it again. How's that look now? A little bit better, maybe a tiny bit more. Okay. That's good. Now we have two beakers that each have 50 ml of water. What I would like you to do is measure the starting temperature to fill out on that paper there. So. I do. Okay. There you go. See the starting temperature? Yeah. What does it say? 22.6. Two, two, Write mm -hmm. down starting temperature 22.6 centigrade. Okay. Super. Now we can get started. Okay? You notice that I want to show you about a little device that I have here. We're going to put this water in here. Actually, could have just measured it, right? Let's make sure it's the same temperature. All right, set it to 22.4. Let's change this. Wait, what? It changed temperature when we moved it. Okay, so now it's 20. Now you notice I have here, I have a beaker, a plastic beaker. Plastic doesn't conduct heat as well as glass. That plastic beaker is wrapped in paper towel to insulate it from the outside influences. And we covered it with a paper towel so that outside temperature doesn't affect it as much. We've effectively created an insulation, a place of insulation there. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to isolate two different effects here. When we put the magnesium sulfate in that water, it's going to change temperature. And we're starting at 22.6. Got to change it again. Sorry, you were right the first time. What? Yes, you were right the first time. Uh, we're starting at 22.6. We're going to add the magnesium sulfate, and I expect that we'll see a temperature change just because we've dissolved magnesium sulfate in there. Now, can you lift the paper towel and the thermometer and then put it back? Okay, now put it in there and let's mix it around now. Hold on. You see any temperature change yet? Oh, that's interesting, no temperature change. This is weird. It's strange. I expected more of a temperature change. Hmm.
Okay. What color is the liquid in there? Well, it's kind of the same. It hasn't dissolved. It, it's dissolved. It's all dissolved. There's no precipitate in there, but it's clear. Perfectly clear, right? Now, let us take this one and we'll put our... Yes, you can. Don't spill it though, okay? Don't spill it. Yeah, turn it around yeah, and dump it in there. Good job, bud. Tap it out. Tap it. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Can I just mix it? Or? Yes. Go ahead and mix it up. Okay. Go ahead. Come on. Mix it good. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Swirl it around, and when you're ready, don't splash it. Okay. There you right. go. Go. Good job. Now let's move this around. We started at 22.6. I'm not seeing any temperature change. Why is that? That's very strange. Well, we're at 22.4, so there's two tenths of a degree temperature change. Final temperature of solution, final temperature of reaction. temperature of reaction. I don't see any more temperature change, but I don't know why. That's strange. I was expecting a temperature change. Oh, now it's down to 22.3. Nope, nope. 22.4 Celsius. Right? Mm -hmm. Alright, so mark that down. 22.4. Final temperature of the reaction. Okay. It's not changing, so I think we're done. So let us filter out precipitate, placing oven to dry. Yeah. But first let's look at the precipitate. Wait, you had a beaker in a beaker? I told you that at the beginning. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did we do that? To from yes, to insulate it from outside stuff. influences, from a loss of heat. Now we have a milky liquid. You're What's right. that about? Oh dear. It's, I lost some of it. It's gooey. It's sort of gooey. We have a precipitate, don't we? Mm -hmm. What do you think that precipitate is? It's magnesium carbonate. What you don't see that hasn't precipitated out is sodium sulfate. There's one filter. So the clear liquid is filtering through, but that is water with sodium sulfate dissolved in it. The precipitate that's not water soluble is uh, sodium, magnesium, magnesium carbonate. carbonate. It's a double replacement reaction. So what we're going to do is put this in the oven to dry out that precipitate. It, and then we're going to end up with a powder that we're going to grind up and we'll see, you'll see how it feels. It's called athletic chalk. That's, it's not really chalk, but it's what they use, uh, what athletes use in the Olympics to put on their hands so that they don't slip from the oils and the sweat on their hands. 
Can I put it on me? Yes. The Spider-Man. Yes. Um, what I want to do though is rinse this a little bit. I want you, please, while I hold the filter, to gently spray water around the edges and try and, yeah, rinse it down into the center if you can. Good, 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 good. How about over here? All right, let me see. All right, all right, all right. So the more we get it to bunch up in the middle, the easier it will be to dry it out and clean it. Mm -hmm. So now let's wait for that to drip in there. So what's in here? Um, magnesium magnesium carbonate. carbonate. And what's, what's dissolved in this water here? Sodium carbonate. Sodium sulfate. So, so. What's happened is that the two molecules, magnesium sulfate and sodium carbonate, the metals have switched and the magnesium went with the sulfate uh, with the carbonate and the sodium went with the sulfate and that's because those metals have different reactability okay mm -hmm. one is more reactive than the other mm -hmm. so when all those ions broke apart the magnesium grabbed the carbonate but the sodium didn't grab the sulfate until we dry it out. When you remove the water, mm -hmm. the sodium will grab onto the sulfate and we'll end up with sodium sulfate mm -hmm. after we've already removed the magnesium carbonate. We're going to take this filter. I hope I don't drop this. This would be a disaster if I drop it. But We're going to put it now right here into this baking dish and we're going to put it in the oven and start to cook it and dry it out. All right, bud. Um, I know you're going to clean all this up, so I'm going to turn off the camera yeah. and you did really great. I'm not cleaning <laughs> you, all this up. You did really I'm great. not going to clean this up. I am not. You did really great. No, I am not cleaning this up. Did you have fun? Yeah. Good job, bud. You did great work. I am not cleaning this up. That's your mess. I know. Just real briefly tell them what we're doing. Ready? Three. Uh, hey. <laughs> Ready? Welcome. Welcome. Three, two. Bye bye. Good job. Quarantine Science Lab. <laughs> that, as part of your commitment to. <laughs> All right. I never commit. I never said I All was right. gonna clean up. No. Come here, bud. Wait. Let's do an intro. Um. I want you to do the intro. Welcome to Quarantine Science Lab. Welcome to. Wait. Come here. When I tell you to, be lots of enthusiasm. Welcome to Quarantine Science Lab. Today we're going to.